Hi, I'm Dr. Keisha. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a vision board using Canva. But first, if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. So if you're interested in living an intentional life, in setting goals, in understanding yourself and better understanding others, this is the place for you. Be sure to hit subscribe and you'll be alerted whenever I put up new videos. So back to the vision board. Every year, usually in December or at the top of January, I create a vision board. I usually sometimes host vision board parties and I teach people how to use vision boards to set their goals for the upcoming year. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, when a lot of people do vision boards, they oftentimes use poster boards, old magazines, but we also all have the option of doing a digital vision board. What's really cool about a digital vision board is that you can save it to your phone, you can use it as a desktop on your computer, which I'm going to show you how to do later in this video. And then you also can print it out, frame it, and place it someplace in your home. I love using Canva because it allows me to just pick and choose all the different colors, all the different images, and I'll show you how to use images that are already on Canva, how to utilize some of your own personalized images, and it's going to be great. So why do a vision board? A vision board is a visual representation of your goals. If you wanna transform your dreams into goals, into actionable steps, this is a great place to start. So if you can just think about the things that you want for your life in the upcoming year or the upcoming months, that is great. If you need some help, let's think about it in terms of categories. You can think about things in terms of your personal life as well as your professional life in terms of your physical, your spiritual, your emotional, your mental, your relationships, anything like that. Those are categories of things. So once you start off with your categories, the next thing that I want you to move to is thinking, if a lot of people, for example, will say, oh, I want to be healthier. Well, what does that mean? Do you eat healthier? Do you work out more? So we'll find pictures and visual representations of those things. So head on over to your computer. The great thing with Canva is that you can use the app or you can use the desktop. I prefer to use the desktop simply because it gives me freedom to move things around a little bit more. It gives me more space. I can see it really big and I love that. But if you have the app on your phone, that works as well. So once I pull up the Canva website, I go in and do a search for mood board collage and see all these different options. I'm going to choose this option. It gives me six images that I can replace. I can focus on six aspects or six individual goals for 2021. I also like that it has words on it. And so I can add in even more than the six images by utilizing the words. I know that 2021 is a year of uncertainty for a lot of us, but I think that within uncertainty, there's always the opportunities for endless possibilities. I'm going to add more than the four words that are on here. And so in order to do that, I'm gonna do some duplication. But first, I like this background that the words are on and it's all separate elements. So I'm going to select them all and group them together and make a copy of it. That way I can move them into position. I want these words at the top of my vision board because they're going to be the words for the year 2021. I'm going to keep this format and put four words on each side and these words all represent things that I want to do, things that I want to focus on, things that I want to experience, just my general vibe. These words represent what the overall themes I want in my life for 2021. So I encourage you to do the same. Select the words that resonate most with you. On this vision board, I'm going to use a combination of images that I already uploaded to Canva. So Canva allows you to upload your individual images. I encourage you to do that to personalize the vision board. And then I'm also going to use some clip art. I've been doing some searches on Canva and you can do a search up there and get any number of images that Canva already has. 
and so I really like this image it's a whole vibe it's a fashion moment I love having fashion moments in my year and I also like the energy I want to walk into the year with that energy I love flowers I love the joy that's on her face I love her hair I want to keep keep my hair healthy I love this photo so I'm just gonna pivot this slightly because I like having various things being in various directions on my vision board. It doesn't have to be linear, you can move them around. Final picture, I want to write more this year, so I'm gonna put this image in there with her writing. And there you have it, I have my six images, six things I'm gonna focus on. You can position things to bring them forward. So that's laying on top of her. I love having flowers all over my vision board. I love being surrounded by beauty and this vision board represents everything that I want for 2021. I'm gonna go ahead and download it. You can print from Canva too, but I'm gonna download as a JPEG because it's the smallest size file. It's going to take up less space. I can save it on my phone. I can print it out and hang it someplace or I can save it as the wallpaper on my desktop, which is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to replace the current desktop image by going into my download folder on my computer and selecting my 2021 vision board. And there you have it, voila! Wasn't that fun? I can spend all day on Canva just like playing around with the different images, the different color options, and you can always just use a blank template and just plop pictures in there. I can't wait to see what you created. So make sure that you tag me on social media on Instagram. I am Dr. Keisha, that's D-R underscore K-E-I-S-H-A. Thank you for hanging out with me. Please hit the like button, share this with someone else, and once again, be sure to subscribe to my channel to get more practical tips and suggestions to help you live an intentional life.